This is the BBC. This podcast is supported by advertising outside the UK. Tired of ads interrupting your gripping investigations? Good news. Ad-free listening on Amazon Music is included with your Prime membership. Ads shouldn't be the scariest thing about true crime. Just head to amazon.com slash ad-free true crime to catch up on the latest episodes without the ads. Enjoy thousands of ACAST shows ad-free for Prime subscribers. Some shows may have ads. BBC Sounds. Music, radio, podcasts. Hi, everyone, and welcome to today's 10 to the Top. It's Wednesday, and if you were listening earlier on, you will know that we have announced the lineup for BBC Radio 2's Piano Room Month, and it's quite spectacular. If you like your crowded house, your Rod Stewart and Jules Holland, your Beverly Knight, the Libertines, P.P. Arnold, Texas, Jalen and Gonda, Delta Goodrum featuring Gary Barlow, Paloma Faith, Rick Astley, Shaznay, the mighty Johnny Marr, all will be stepping foot into the now famous, legendary Maida Vale Studios with the BBC Concert Orchestra, and they will be playing some of their finest tunes for us. What a joy, what a pleasure. Anyway, it's 10 to the top. BBC Radio 2, 10 to the top. We're midway through the week, so let's have another contestant for 10 to the top. Hi, Laura Burt in Tiverton in Devon. Morning. How are you? Morning, I'm all right, thank you. How are you? Yeah, very good. What's it like down there in Devon? I would imagine I'm going to stereotype and say it's windy, it's cold. Yeah, it, you, you could be looking out the window. It's very cold. It's beautiful, but it is cold. Nice. You like your 80s music and you've got fond memories of buying Smash Hits magazine. I do. I used to love it, yes. I did that. I would... I can't remember if it was fortnightly or weekly, wasn't it? But you'd, you'd go and you'd, yeah, take all the lyrics out and then you'd, you'd remember them. And I used to record stuff off the... Like, record the top 40 um, <laughs> and, like, write it all down and have, you know, dates. Um, I can still now, much to my daughter's horror, do Vanilla Ice's Ice Ice Baby. Um, and Bross's When Will I Be Famous? You know, I can't remember, like, what I did last week. Yeah. They give me an 80s lyric and I'm probably okay with that. But you're you're a, you're a big radio fan, aren't you? You used to do the the weather and travel on your local radio station. Yeah, that was when I was in sixth form, and um, obviously kind of channeling my family traffic at that point in my life. Um, I remember as well when I was little, I used to have like this little AM FM radio that I used to hide under my pillow and listen to like Radio Luxembourg. And just the music that I was exposed to then, I think, has kind of stayed with me. Oh. You see, that makes me feel really warm inside because I think I think you're telling a lot of stories. You've brought a lot of really good, heartfelt memories flooding back to many, many people because, I, bizarrely, I used to listen to long-wave radio and French radio. I can't speak French, but <laughs> yeah. there's something about the crackles. Do you know what I mean? Like, hearing French yeah, yeah. radio through a crackly wireless, there's something quite romantic about that. Anyway, we have to step forward from our little okay. step back in time and uh, let's see how you do on 10 to the top now just a quick reminder this week on Radio 2 there's a celebration of music and memories from years ending in 4 because it's 2024 which means all these questions okay. are related to either 64, 74, 84, 94 2004 or 2014 so good luck To the top on Radio 2. Here's your first question for one point. What sort of idiot did Green Day say they didn't want to be in 2004? American. Yes, well done, you get a point for two yeah. points. I'm going to play your first clip. It's from the biggest of the three top 40 entries that Tori Amos had during 1994. Take a listen and then give me the song title please. This is a beauty. Peel out the watch word just peel out the watch word The only one I can think of is Cornflake Girl. Well done, you get two points. This one is worth okay. three. In 1994, take yourself back, who sang about the streets of Philadelphia on his top three hit? Oh, no. Um, oh, Bruce Springsteen. I don't think that's right. It is right. <laughs> yeah, well done you. Good guess. You get three points from the boss. This is worth four. Which US superstar released the 1984 album 
Private Dancer. Uh, Tina Turner. We're on a roll because this is worth five. In what year? Can did... I play my joke? Oh, please, we're going to go. Oh, I screw it along then, <laughs> thinking, right, we're on a run here. Oh. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Fair enough. If we play your joke, I know it's worth 10. I was being quite yeah. snidey then because I thought, I'm just going to skip through, see if we can try and get a top score. But well done. All right, we'll play your joker. <laughs> In what year did the song Young at Heart first reach the top 10 for the Bluebells? I'm going to say 74. No! It was 84. Oh. This one's worth one. All right. Name the former member of Shakespeare's sister who had a solo hit in 1994 called I Believe. Is it Siobhan? You're thinking of Siobhan Fahey. It's not. It's Marcella Detroit. Uh. Unlucky, this one's worth a point again. Which glam rock group sang about a teenage rampage on their 1974 single? Oh, um, Slave? Unlucky, it was sweet. Here's one for a point. It's your last clip. In August 2014, this group topped the charts, but they've never had any other hit since then. Who are they? Bruno Mars, but it's not Bruno Mars. No, it's not. It's a good guess, though. It was magic. Okay. Yeah. Nope. No. No, me neither. I'm like, because I asked the team in the fishbowl, I went, really? Never heard of them. So, for a point, complete the title mm-hmm. of this 1964 hit by the King Elvis Presley. Viva where? Espana. No! 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 Elvis no! Presley! No! Oh! Yes, Laura, of course. The right answer was Viva Las Vegas. Right, let's see if we can get the last one correct. Oh, my goodness. For a point, the 1994 dance track, Swamp Thing, it peaked at number three, but spent a total of two months inside the top ten for which act? I don't know. Swamp Thing? The Mm. Prodigy? It was The Grid. Well done, Laura, you scored 10 points. Do you know what? Double figures, um, that's OK. Yeah. I mean, it's not my best, but it, it's a vaguely respectable score. It gives you a chance. That's what it does, 10. It gives you a chance uh, to win the smart speaker. But, uh, you know, it's all good. It's all good. It's a decent bar that you've raised. We'll see if it's enough to win the smart speaker after this. And then we'll have Anne Quinn in Renfrew to play 10 to the top. The 90s was a decade packed with incredible music from start... <laughs> It was full of showbiz stories. We were flying around so much that I'd have to wait until I got off the plane. Someone would speak to me and I'd know what country I was in. BBC Sounds of the 90s. On Radio 2. Get your weekly fix of nostalgia. Available now on the BBC Sounds app. After that little scheduled message, shall we crack on with the quiz? Oh, but before that, if you've forgotten to subscribe, then press the subscribe button now and you'll get episodes of 10 to the top downloaded directly onto your device. Right, here we go, contestant number two. Laura scored 10 points, which, quote-unquote, from Laura is a decent score. And a quote from me, it does give you a chance. So 10 points from Laura is the score to beat. And the person who has got the challenge of beating that is Anne Quinn from Renfrew in Scotland. How are you, Anne? Same, thank you. Oh, no, there's one little fact on my fact sheet about you, Anne, <laughs> that's got me all excited. You met Scylla Black in 1980. How was Scylla? Oh, she was lovely. Oh, we love Scylla Black on the show. Me and Richie, we're always talking about all these little clips 
that are popping up on <laughs> <No>. social media. <laughs> <laughs> you know exactly where I'm coming from. Scylla singing random songs in random places with very random people, but there's something spectacular about it because we don't do that anymore. I know that's right. It was brilliant. They're so good and it's nice to see that Scylla, you know, she was a superstar. She really was. But it's nice to see that now she's at the forefront of social media. We love it. Oh, she, she was amazing. Did you have a chat with her? Yes. What did you talk about? Just talked about her music and all the shows that she used to do on the telly and just everything. Oh, brilliant. Uh, are you ready for 10 to the top? You've got 10 to beat. OK. Now, let me remind you, Anne, that all the questions are related to years ending in four. So 64, 74, 84, 94, 2004, 2014, and, of course, 2024. So, are you ready? Yes, I am. Not that there'll be many questions about 2024, <laughs> because we're only a week in. <laughs> so, <laughs> OK. <laughs> so, here we go. Right, for a point, who was the featured male vocalist on Mark Ronson's 2014 smash, Uptown Funk Gone Give It To You? Who was that singer? Phil Collins. It wasn't Phil Collins, no. It was Bruno Mars. Oh, sorry. That's all right. No need to apologise. Here's your <laughs> next question for a point. Which rock band... Fronted by David Lee Roth, had a worldwide hit in 1984 with the song Jump. Oh, point is It's not, no. It was Van Halen. Oh, sorry. Right, here's your first clip. In 1994, Bon Jovi had their biggest ever UK hit with the track you're about to hear. Now listen to the intro, then give me the one word title, please, Anne. It's not living on a prayer. It was called Always. Big tune. It was written for a film called Romeo is Bleeding. And even though John Bon Jovi loved the script to the movie, the song never ended up being in it because he hated the film when he saw an advanced screening of it. Wow, what a diva. Right. <laughs> yeah. All right, this one's worth a point. Complete the title of this top three hit from 1994 by the Stone Roses. Love what? Me. It's not love me, no. It was love spreads. Right. Listen to the question. In what year was the first ever edition of Top of the Pops broadcast? 1964. Yes, and we've got a point! <laughs> Get in there! <laughs> Well done, Anne. Bravo you. Right, for two points. Here we go. The car is started. We've given it a little bit of chalk. We've pumped the accelerator. We are up and running on this journey of 10 to the top. <laughs> what did David Essex say he was going to make you on his 1974 number one song? Star. There you go. Well done. We're now reading the A to Z and we're on to destination success for three points. In February 1984, Madness were inside the top 20 with a song named after which famous British actor? Michael Caine. Yes, Anne! <laughs> and he's in the building! <laughs> Yes, well done. It is Michael Caine and Madness, of course. We're recent guests in the Radio 2 Piano Room. And don't forget, I'm going to reveal more of the stars appearing in Piano Room Month 2024 after 11 o'clock. Right then, here we go. Your next question. Who sang 
about dance hall days on their 1982 single. Uh, it was Wang Chung. Everybody Wang right. Chung tonight. <laughs> <laughs> right, this one's worth a point, and it's your next clip. Producers, Stock, Aitken and Waterman had their first Top 40 success in July 1984 with this song. But who's the legendary drag artist performing it? You think you're a man, but you're only a boy. You think you're a man, you are only a toy. You think you're a man, but you just couldn't see. You were man enough to satisfy me. The Catholic. I wish it was. <laughs> It was divine. Right, it's your last question. It's worth a point, but we've not played your joker, so it's now worth two. <laughs> Guns don't kill people, rappers do. Reached the top three in 2004. But for which comedy hip hop group from Newport, South Wales? I don't know. Oh, and the answer was Goldie Looking Chain. But well done, you scored six points. Thank you very much. Unfortunately, it's not enough to uh, take home the smart speaker, but you win the coffee mug. All right. <laughs> OK, thanks. Yeah, well done, you. Uh, well done, Laurie, you win the smart speaker. <laughs> Thank you very much. I thoroughly enjoyed listening to that. <laughs> yeah, that was lovely, weren't it? Uh, congratulations. The smart speaker is yours. Thank you very much. Well done, Laura. Thank you. Thank you, Anne. Thank you, Laura. And if you want to join the chaos or the fun, uh, that is 10 to the top, then why not come and play? 10 to the top at bbc.co.uk. And if you've got WhatsApp, 08000 288 291. We'll see you tomorrow for more 10 to the top. 10 to the top on Radio 2. BBC Sounds. Music, radio, podcasts. Tired of ads interrupting your gripping investigations? Good news. Ad-free listening on Amazon Music is included with your Prime membership. Ads shouldn't be the scariest thing about true crime. Just head to amazon.com slash ad-free true crime to catch up on the latest episodes without the ads. Enjoy thousands of ACAST shows ad-free for Prime subscribers. Some shows may have ads.